we need to do. Here they say, consider the following number pattern. Now they didn't say what kind of a pattern it is. They just said which we should consider. We should consider the following pattern. They don't say whether it's linear or it's quadratic. Okay? And then the first question says, show that it is a quadratic pattern. How do you know what something is a quadratic pattern? You'll see it by having a second constant difference. Okay? So it means first we need to subtract this one, subtract this one. If you say 13 minus six, what do you get? You get seven, okay? And then you say 22 minus 13, what do you get? And then you say 33 minus 22, what do you get? You get 11. And then if you say this one, subtract this one, what do you get? Get two. You say this one, subtract this one, what do you get? And then you can clearly see which this second different is the same, okay? So we have shown them which this thing here is a what it's a, it's a, it's a quadratic. If it was a linear, this one was going to be equal to this one was also going to be equal to this one. But since it's not linear, then it means which the second difference you know, is going to be what to be constant. That's if it's quadratic. Okay. The next question says, write down the next two terms of the pattern. Now, I was saying to other learners, you can do something like this. If you want to write down the next two terms, you can do something like this. If you add this three, this one plus this one plus this one, they're going to give you the next term. If you say 33 plus 11, what do you get? You get 46, okay? And then you can always come and check it here. If you say this one, subtract this one, what do you get? It's 13, okay? And then if you say 13 minus 11, what do you get? Two. So if you don't get the two, it means you made a mistake there. You see that, okay? And then you can also take this three here. Then they're going to give you the next term. This one plus this one plus this one, what do you get? It's 61. And then you say, okay, this one subtract this one, it gives us what? And then this one subtract this one is giving us what? Two. So we get the next two terms as 46 and what? And, and 61. Now, on number C, they say that the mind the end term again. We want to get TN. Now, TN, guys, let's not confuse the following. We have TN for linear. TN for linear is BN plus C. This we use it if it's linear. Now, we have a TN for quadratic. TN for quadratic is given as TN, which is going to be A and squared plus BN plus C. Now, we first have to get A. We want to get B. We also want to get what? C. How then do we get A? A, we get it by saying 2A is going to be equal to the second difference. Whatever the second difference is, what is our second difference here? And then you divide by two, you divide by two. Okay? It says A is going to be equal to, let's define again. Okay? And then here's what we also know. We also know who T3A plus B is going to be the first term of the first difference. Okay? What is the first term of the first difference? It's seven, okay? So we can come and say three multiplied by one plus B is going to be equal to what two? Seven. And then if you take this three to this other side, it says which B is going to be equal to what two? Seven minus three, okay? Which is going to be what to be? Four. And then Elena is going to be given a mark for this. Elena is going to be given a mark for doing something like this. Now, what do we know about term number one? What is term number one? Term number one is six, okay? And then we can say, but now A plus B plus C is going to be equal to what two? Six. Perhaps let's use a different card. A plus B plus C is going to give us what? Six. What is A? What is B? Four. Plus C is going to be equal to six, okay? Four. If you add this two, they give you five, no? Take this one to this other side. It says which C is going to be equal to what two? One. one. Therefore, Multiple. you can write your equation. Okay? What is going to be an equation? Instead of A, what are we going to put there? We don't put anything. Ne? Instead of B, what are we going to put? Four. We're going to put plus four. Instead of C, what are we going to put? We're going to put what? Plus one. And then this is going to be our general formula. Okay, do number two then. <laughs> 